Greetings, friends. Once again, as always, it's an honor to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. Today I have a 2010 Hyundai Santa Fe. It comes in with an exhaust leak, and I've already uh, jacked up the car. I'm using my lift stands, and I found that it's not a real serious leak. What it is, the back of the catalytic converter, the nuts have rusted off, and the gasket has failed. So we're going to attempt to uh, repair this vehicle. We're going to need a set of torches. We're going to try to remove the studs, go and get new studs and a new gasket. It should be a fairly simple fix. So friends, we're under the vehicle. And as you can see, this flange is loose and this gasket's just flopping around. These nuts that go on these studs have just totally dissolved and the flange has worked its way loose. So what we're going to attempt to do is heat up these studs and see if we can get them out. Okay, it looks like there might be just enough on this uh, nut here for us to turn it. Pretty good. Let's see if we can get it to move. Yep, it's turning right out of there. All right. Well, it's out. Okay. That one's out. All right. So uh, I'm going to do the other one off camera. It's exactly the same way. And we'll come back when that's done. Okay, friends. Um, things have cooled off. I learned a long time ago when you're using the torch, just get away from something when you're done and let it cool off and come back to it. So these are the two studs we got out. And this is the gasket. We're going to go up to the local pot store and see if we can match up this gasket with something. And we're going to replace these studs. Now we've got to figure out what size studs these are. So I'm going to take my uh, dial calipers. And I'm going to measure the threads. And it's about 470. That tells me it's 12 millimeter. So now we just got to figure out what the pitch is. All right, I don't know how well you can see this, but um, if you don't already, you should have a metric tap and die set. All these modern cars now are metric. So I'm going to the section that has my 12 millimeter, and the smallest pitch I have is 12 by 1.25. So I'm going to take out one of the taps, the 12 millimeter by 1.25, and I'm going to compare it. And it looks like the pitch is exactly the same. So we know that this stud is a 12 millimeter by 1.25. So we're going to go out and see if we can get that size. Okay, friends, uh, we're back with the pots. What I'm going to do right now is try to chase these threads with the metric tap. I'm going to try to get it started straight if I can. Last thing I want to do is strip it. make it a lot easier when we put the new uh, bolts in. We couldn't get studs. We're replacing it with uh, bolts. So I just want to chase these threads and make it a little easier to get these bolts in. Make it as easy for ourselves as humanly possible. All right, that's good. We get that out.
All right, to save time, I will do the other one off camera. All right, so we're ready to put this together. As I just mentioned, we could not find studs. Um, they're just not available in this size, so we're going with uh, bolts and washers. So uh, we're going to put the gasket in place. Tricky getting it lined up here just right. Okay. We got that one well started. Now we'll get the other one going. Seems to be going in quite nicely. It really paid off um, cleaning, you know, chasing those threads. It's a lot easier to get these in. All right. Yeah, it would have been nice if we could have replaced it with studs, but the bolts will work fine. All right, that's pretty good. All right, why don't you start the car up and see what it sounds like. A lot quieter. Okay. All right, that solves that problem. Okay, so it looks like we're all set here. Uh, I want to thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I will post two videos to your left. I hope of which you'll find them of interest. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my trusty German Shepherd, my avatar. By all means, feel free to click on that should you wish to subscribe to my channel. So thanks again for watching. We hope to see you all very, very soon.